Kurt Waite, who is an independent dealer for Berna and the owner of Ungun. How are you doing today, Kurt? I'm great. Thank you. Thanks so, for having me. So what are you here to talk about with us today? Well, the Berna. The Berna is a uh, self-defense product. That's a launcher. They call it a launcher, not a gun. Looks like a gun, acts like a gun without the consequences. So it's non-lethal. Shoots a little .68 caliber uh, projectile, mm -hmm. hard plastic. Um, we have some training rounds as well, and it'll shoot a pepper ball. In California, you have to have a certificate to carry that pepper ball. So you take a little online course, $49, and then I can sell you the pepper ball. So I got the chance to actually try one of your smaller products here just yesterday, and it's very interesting. It's very similar to what most people rec recognize as an airsoft gun, but the quote-unquote bullets or pedal pebbles right. or whatever you want to call them are much larger right. and i like the way you described it there it's very similar to a less than lethal weapon the way that law enforcement would describe it but from what i understand even though it looks very similar to a handgun even though it's you know bright orange you've got a whole range <laughs> of colors here it looks more like a nerf gun than anything else <laughs> you don't require a license to carry it. So it is a little bit more accessible and safer for some people to carry than an actual handgun or maybe for people who aren't comfortable carrying actual firearms. Right. Yeah. Um, so uh, the Berna product is no license, no waiting times, no certifications. Um, you can carry it concealed. I carry it in a, in a fanny pack all mm -hmm. around all the time with me. Uh, you can carry it in the car. You just got to be a little cognizant of the fact that it looks like a gun, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so if you get pulled over or something like that, you got to let the flea. Hey, I, I've got this burner sitting next to me on my car seat, and, you know, it's non-lethal, but I want to let you know. Yeah. All right. Uh, because a, a police officer being ex-law enforcement, if, if I saw that, I would say this is a gun. Oh, absolutely. And especially I'm seeing a couple of the colors here. One's gray, one's black. Even the yellow one, you could argue at first glance, could look like a taser gun. Right, mm. right. It could. And, and we have multiple colors. Uh, some people uh, want to carry something that just doesn't resemble a gun. Mm -hmm. The problem is if you point this at somebody, all they see is the barrel. Yes. And that's all they need to see. A lot of times people that have a confrontation, just pulling this out and showing it to somebody saying, hey, back off is all you need to do. You don't have to shoot it, right? Yeah. But if you need to shoot it, it's accurate up to 60 feet, um, very accurate, and very powerful when it hits you. It's about between 280 and 300 feet per second, this little ball <laughs> is hitting you. It's, de it's devastating. It, uh, it stops people. Oh, absolutely. I, we were talking outside of the studio a moment ago about um, the pepper balls and pepper spray. You know, a lot of people like to use pepper spray or even those little um, tasers that are battery powered as a self-protection device, but people don't necessarily know how to use them. And pepper spray doesn't necessarily deter people who are threatening you as much compared to this. This is a very big visual deterrent. Right. Um, there's drawbacks to pepper spray. We carry alternate um, mm -hmm. self-defense devices. We carry uh, the bad guy repellent, <laughs> which is a uh, a pepper spray product, and it shoots about 15 feet, but given weather and wind, and my my whole objective is not to get that close to somebody if mm -hmm. I don't have to. Uh, tasers, I used to carry that around with me, a stun gun, basically, mm -hmm. um, but you've got to be right on the person. So yeah, by or then, they're on, more importantly, they have to be right on you. <laughs> exactly. You're not going to do it from a distance. So it's a 20-foot rule and we teach classes at our, at uh, our home. We have a, a shooting range set up there, and we have a website called burnabash.com where you can sign up for one of the classes because it's important for people to understand how to use it, when to use it, when they can and can't use it. You know, gee, if I, what if I, you know, a car rage situation and, uh, oh, somebody stole my parking place. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you don't shoot them for that. I mean... So we sort of give them an overview as to what's happening, and then they get to shoot a, a whole uh, CO2 cartridge full, which is about 20 rounds, and they get to shoot at targets and feel comfortable. This has no, even though it looks like a gun, it doesn't, and it acts like one in a similar fashion, it doesn't have blowback, it doesn't have the slide that goes back and forth, there's no kick. So people who use it for the first time are amazed at the power it has and the fact that you know they can just hold it one-handed and fire it not a problem it's like an air gun like you said 
So something that I'm sure some people are concerned about is they hear it's not as damaging as a gun, but what damage does it do? And from what I'm seeing, it would leave bruises behind and it would stop somebody just in terms of shock of having that pain, but it's not going to rip through them the same way a bullet would. Would you say that is accurate? Oh, no, not at all. It, yeah. The chances of it breaking the skin are, are like 99%. It won't. Mm -hmm. Um Depending on where you shoot, I, we teach everybody. You know, if you're gonna, if assailants are coming at you or something's happening, shoot the main the part body. of the body. Yeah. Don't aim for the head. I mean, um, if you have to, then you have to. But for the most part, it's it, non-lethal means it won't kill somebody and it will not penetrate the skin. So you're gonna look. I carried it originally to to, to thwart off animals, mm -hmm. vicious dogs, coyotes in the neighborhood, different things. I don't want to kill the animal. But I, if it hit, if I hit them with one of these pellets, it's pretty much done. They're going to take off. So, for me, carrying a non-lethal device is of utmost importance. I feel comfortable when I go out. I don't have to worry. I don't put myself in those situations anyway, which mm -hmm. we talk about that in the classes. Um, avoidance. <laughs> you know, anybody who has a confrontation with somebody else, it never usually ends well. Right, somebody yeah. gets hurt no matter what. So for us, and a, and a guy my age, I'm not fighting anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I, I'm going to have to take the guy out in some other way. And so, and like I said, most of the times, pointing it at somebody is all it takes. Yeah, it's it's for self defense, not to assist in aggression in any no, way. No, I mean you can come to the aid of somebody if you thought that that was important, um, especially if somebody is being accosted by someone else mm -hmm. who has no way to defend themselves, and you happen to be there, you can come to the aid of that person. But look, anytime you use this or point this at somebody, you got to notify the authorities because that, I guarantee you, they're going to call and say, this guy just pulled a gun on me for no reason. Right? So you've got to be the first one to make that call. And I'll let them know. And stay, stay in the area. If you've actually shot somebody, you're under no obligation to render any kind of first aid or take them into custody or do anything. It's more for you to get out of the area, get yourself to safety, and then contact the authorities. That's what it's all about. So what are some of the reviews that you hear from the people that you've taught? Why do they want this product? Feel comfortable. They're afraid. Uh, crime, obviously, is, is going pretty through the roof here in Los Angeles County. Um, we have a situation where the homeless is starting to move in in different areas quite a bit, and you know, they're sometimes unstable, and so they're creating uh, an element that people don't want to be around. They feel safe and secure. Uh, most everybody who takes this says, this is going to be my home defense um, weapon, and it's also going to be my personal defense weapon. So I don't want a gun in the house. I'm not going to carry a concealed weapon. Uh, I'm not sure I could shoot somebody. With this, after they're done taking this little class, it's only like an hour, they're confident they will shoot somebody because <laughs> they know it's, it's not going to kill the person. So. so we've been talking a lot about the handgun version, but you also have a rifle version. Is there any main difference between these two? Well, yeah, the rifle, it's, it's a little combat rifle, kind of looks like an AR, I guess. Um, <laughs> it uh, shoots a little bit further, but it's not something you can carry around with you. No. Right, this is a home defense product. Um, it holds uh, 12 rounds in a magazine, and then you have an alternate seven rounds, so you've got 19 rounds within a short. If you can't get the job done in a few rounds, <laughs> you're in trouble, yeah. right? Even if you're carrying the handgun, if it, it, the handgun will carry five rounds. There's, there's a new seven-round mag coming out. But the five rounds, you don't empty your gun and <laughs> at one person. You never know who his friend is. Mm -hmm. So uh, we always tell people, look, shoot a couple rounds. If that doesn't stop them, get another couple rounds in and make sure there's nobody else uh, accompanying that person. Otherwise, you got to reload, and by then it's you know pretty much over. And I'd, I'd like to re-mention for our listeners, although I have compared these two airsoft guns, I think it, it, the power is far too much there. You're going to hurt somebody if you try to take one of these to the airsoft field, as cool as they look. Oh. So... For disclaimer, just don't do that. <laughs> no, this is not one of those devices. This yeah. is a device for self-defense. Uh, taking this out and shooting your friends is not uh, something you want to do. <laughs> I've been trying to get a volunteer, so if there's anybody out there who wants to come by. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Matt's raising his hand. We'll set you up. 
Uh, that was a mistake. No, I changed my mind already. Uh, we'll we'll discuss. We'll discuss. <laughs> so obviously, this comes in six different colors. It comes in a handgun style. It comes in a rifle style. You said that we can find out more information about this at burnabash.com. Yeah, burnabash.com is our training site, but we have a quick little 30-second video that shows the use of it mm -hmm. and, and how it fires, and then there's some volunteers that get hit with it on this little video. <laughs> so it kind of shows you how it operates, um, which is a great thing. And then further on down the website, you can go and, and sign up for one of our classes. We have one coming up this Saturday, for as a matter of fact. That isn't full yet. We have three different time zones, so. Well, that's excellent. So if people wanted to take a class or learn more about these products, what should they do? Um, you can go to the website. You can call me mm -hmm. uh, or text me, whatever you want to do. But uh, if you go to the website, you, you learn quite a bit about it already by the website. Um, but if not and you want to answer some questions, just call me. We can take care of it. My, my number's on the site. If you want me to give them to it now, I can. Yeah, you absolutely <laughs> so can. So if you call 661-313-0656, uh, That'll get a hold of me, or you can text me at that number, 661-313-0656. Awesome. And for our listeners who want more information, you can head on over to burnabash.com. That's B-Y-R-N-A-B-A-S-H.com. And I've been speaking with Kurt Waite. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, this no morning. problem. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you.